Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Life After episode. So today we are reaching level 20 crafting right over here. You know what that means? That means that we are going to research this type of tab, guys. Fusion free and we have currently 141 blueprints total. So that means we can research two times and then after that I'll try to get some more blueprints grinded out and then hopefully we can get ourselves, it would be really nice if we could get the 590M. And other than that, anything else I get from here is probably useless. Unless I get a UMP9 snow camo, that would be good, but I really want the 590M for the start, so yeah. And now I've crafted some resources for my level 5 manor, so when once I hit level 5 house, I will be able to upgrade my manor instantly to level 5. And see here, I just need two more skills for combat, and one more skill for gatherer, and one more for crafting, which I'm gonna hit very soon, and I need five screws for this. And also, I want to finish some modifications for my armor, because I already crafted some, if you guys take a look like let's take a look at this take a look at this i crafted modifications boom five star boom four star so now i'm just missing one more and then my armor is going to be complete we got the armor modifications and our uzi is rocking five star and is rocking three star and three star here so our uzi is looking pretty dope guys look at that anyways i need to craft plastic and i'm missing a little bit of resin so i'm gonna go to the market buy some resins there and that's it so let's go travel to the market jump down let's buy ourselves some resins guys loads of people are advertising their uzis as you can see i sold two uzis guys and we made loads of gold look at this we have 27k gold currently okay so let's go to wood and resins let's see how much people are selling it for 17 for one piece what okay the price has dropped guys as you can see the price has dropped really a lot twigs twigs are still 38 per one though but if we go to 10 ores that's actually really expensive but i would buy this i'm actually gonna buy this i'm actually gonna buy this resins we need resins so i'm gonna buy those like a lot of resins for now let's buy like that much and as you can see now we have 20, 40, 60, 80 resins. With those resins, guys, we're gonna craft some plastic. And another thing I wanna do now is build a lot of drills here. Let's get our pickaxe. Oh, my pickaxe is breaking. That's not good. Let's power mine this on the last chop. There we go, potassium nitrate. And we need to get that skill for our level three pickaxe because I still have not upgraded it yet. I'm missing some cash. But with those resins, guys, let's go craft armor making. Let's take this out. Let's make three plastics that we have here. And let's craft this. As you see, guys, I'm using untradeable resins. As you can see, this says trading cooldown time two days. But if you craft something with the resource, it becomes tradable again. The cooldown disappears. So for example, let's collect the plastic. Let's see if it's tradable. As you can see, the plastic is tradable and there's no more sign on the plastic. On this one, it shows that there is. So we have six. We have enough to craft the modification now. Let's go to the town again. Talk to the Lisa again and show me your goods. Give me your five ropes. We need five ropes for this. And let's craft the last modification that we are missing. Steel layer. That's what we need. Craft this and let's go. Four hours, guys. Four freaking hours. And then we're going to be getting the level three backpack. But we need crafting 20 for this. And as you can see, we cannot craft it yet. And it says we need nylon cloth. That's obtained from winter. Cloth is 15, plastic 15, hemp rope 12, film fabric 5. Um, all of that is obtained from the shop or from the, you know, events that there is in the game. In the shop here, the film fabric can appear here or the polymer coating can appear here. Currently now I got this offer. This offer is kind of bad, so I'm not buying that. And I need to buy some fertilizers from this dude. Come here, man. Thank you, thank you. Sell me that, sell me that. I can also buy some cows, but I don't really need cows currently, so we're gonna do that later. So the reason, guys, why you shouldn't farm resins in desert is because they're so cheap to sell. You should only farm tin ores because tin ores is the hardest to get. And that's why I'm buying resins. I don't farm them, I buy them. I farm only tin ores. You guys should too. It's a pretty simple explanation. Anyways, we're gonna just store all of this stuff we've got. We're gonna store these, these, and we gotta sell this stuff. Let's put that away too, and we're good to go now. Let's go to the forest, guys. Do some tasks, finish stuff. I'm gonna heal up once. And look at this, we have so much food, man. I also need to make some more food because I'm running low. And I'm also running low on berries, so we gotta farm some berries in the forest. But there we go, we have enough. As you can see, meat skewers are making. Let's claim it all. So now what I wanna do is go in workbench and excavator. Let's make two excavators, all right? 
let's do that and then I'm gonna claim them and then I'm gonna buy some drills and then place them down here. And currently I don't have a pickaxe so I'll probably have to craft a level 2 pickaxe again. Probably. Let's do that. So I need two iron ores. Let's get two iron ores. And I need wood and stones. I have stones in my mailbox for sure. I keep loads of stones in here. We have also bones. I need those too. So now I'm gonna craft myself an iron pickaxe. I still don't have the level 3, man. We gotta get it as soon as possible, guys. So let's put away the stuff we've got here. We don't need the stones anymore. There we go, put it away, put that away. And we have fish bait and a fishing rod. We're gonna go fishing in the forest. We're gonna go do some quests, guys. Let's claim all the food that I've made. Let's make one more and one more. And I'm gonna take vegetables to the forest because sometimes the NPC gives you a task to do. Make vegetables dish, so you need four vegetables to do that. And looting vegetables in the forest is literally pain. So let's go to forest now. Let's travel there. Right in the autumn forest, guys. When I always go to the forest, I always forget to sell items, dude. Like now, I was supposed to sell this stuff to the NPC and I forgot about it, dude. Alrighty, boys, we're in the forest. We are in the forest. Pom pom pom. Bang bang. Let's go take the tasks. All four of them. We got them. We got them. Let's check. Five flint, one grilled mushroom. Oh man. Slay five animals and resource points. Alrighty, let's go do this. Let's start from freaking rocks. Oh, and there's an NPC right next to the cabin. Nah, we got lucky on that. Let's go grab the NPC tasks. Let's go, let's go. There he is. Talk to him and you look nervous. There we go. Let's click that. He should be giving me a task. Please give me... Uh, he gave me barbecue meat, not the vegetables. Not what I was expecting. We have 20 minutes to do this task. So let's go right into that. I need to find deers. Hopefully I can find some while we walk. Let's gather berries because I'm really low on berries right now. And I cannot really make any meat skewers anymore. So we gotta grind up those berries. Oh, more berries, more berries, my man. Keep them going, dude. I'll try to get as many as possible. Not sure if I should take those rape seeds. It's gonna be infected and it's gonna take my slots. Yeah. As you can see, the infected items and non-infected items are separated. So it takes two stacks. But now mainly, guys, we need to find some deers for the tasks to get that crafting level up. I really need that crafting level up, dude. So I gotta finish those tasks. And let's find some more NPCs on our way. Let's maybe check out the third difficulty island. Maybe we'll find something there. You catch a slight cold due to the heavy rain. Okay, dude. Great. We got a deer, man. Wow. The zombie killed a deer. You, you serious, dude? You serious? You you're serious, man? I was doing my task and he killed my deer. Now I have to wait one minute. One minute wasted of my life, guys, for a zombie. Just because of the zombie. And the bear is coming to us, man. Get out of here, man. Get the hell out of here. Refreshes in 15 seconds. Okay, that doesn't show the amount of time, but there we go. The deer is spawning now. Kabam. And goodbye, dear. Give me your stuff. So we need a little bit of more meat. We're still missing some meat, guys, for the barbecue. And we actually have to hurry up. Oh, and while it's raining, I forgot. We need mushrooms. So let's gather mushrooms. Because I'm, that's my task. I need to gather mushrooms and then make a mushroom meat. Mushroom barbecue. Whatever it's called. So these aren't mushrooms, but the rain's gonna end soon, I'm pretty sure. And I cannot run because of this stupid rain making you cold. I'm actually full inventory also, what the hell? Okay, let's store some stuff in my doggy real quick, like that, like that, like that. Don't care, let's just store this stuff. Take the bait out, and let's put away this too. Look for more mushrooms, guys. That's our priority now. As you can see, if you go make one grilled mushroom, we need four mushrooms for that. And mushrooms are kinda sometimes painful to find, sometimes really easy to find, and yeah, I did. I really hate finding mushrooms and even not being able to run while looking for them. But okay, on our way, we're gonna get some berries, like always. That's a rapeseed. Well, there we go. The rain just ended, guys. We did, we got only two mushrooms. We need two more mushrooms. That's not enough. Are these level 15? Yo, crap, dude. How did I get here? These are level 15 zombies. I need to find NPCs now. Let's try to look for NPCs. Bam, we got one. Let's go there. Probably it's the photographer or the treasure NPC. Probably the treasure because mostly the treasure NPC only spawns here. Yeah, that's the treasure NPC, as I told you guys. There we go, let's talk to her. Give me your treasure map, thank you. Kind little girl, where do we get it? Okay, that's not so bad, let's go there. And now, guys, after we finish the treasure map, we're gonna complete the, you know, crafting level to 20. So we're gonna be level 20 on crafting. Now all we need is just the rain. Hey, there's another NPC, guys. Hey, 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 look at that. We found another one. That's the photographer for sure, because it's glowing. And I have the biting nettle. There we go. Talk to her. I like taking pictures too. Give me that quest film, boy. Or girl. Now we need two more NPCs. Or one? I think two, because there's the girl at the night. 
and there's Helena at daytime. Helena is probably around somewhere there. I don't know, but not definitely not here. So we gotta go a little bit further. And let's finish the treasure map now. While we're at it, there we go. We made it to the secret chest, boys. Let's diggity dig it up. Kabam, we got, what, 7.2k crafting experience? Well, that scaled up pretty high, dude. I think we can start now, you know, getting and giving away those NPC items. Because my levels are pretty scaled up. But maybe I should still save it. Oh, by the way, guys. We can now craft our level 3 pickaxe. Actually, no, we can't. We're still missing some cash. Oh, my God. Taking forever. Howdy, wolf. Howdy, man. How's your life going? I see you fell down a little bit by my bullet, my man. Sorry, man. I'm sorry. We need more wolves, though, and deers and animals and, you know, because we need the meat. I'm getting a lot of fall damage by falling. So far, we found only two NPCs. Hey, dear. Hey, bear. I see ya, man. I see ya. We got the bones. We got the meats. And I think we have enough now to make barbecue, right? We have three meats. Hey, I just heard a wolf. I heard you, man. You're dead. There we go, we even finished the task in addition, and there's another one. Alrighty, let's go back to the house cabin, guys. Let's go back to the cabin, which is right over here. And we have to make one grilled mushroom for the task. Thank God that it's not an NPC task. And this one's already done, B barbecue meat. That's what we need to do for that task. And we already have the four meat, so let's go do that. And I think finishing this mission gives you, what, 8k crafting experience. So that's pretty worth it. Alrighty, we need wood for that, and I don't have wood. I don't have anything at all. So let's chop tree once. Please don't give me the NPC item or anything like that. There we go. Let's put in some wood, like that, just like that, and let's make a barbecue meat. There we go. 10 seconds. Complete. 7.2k crafting experience. Alright, we're level 20, guys, on crafting now. Let's go. So now I'm 19 gathering, guys, and once you reach 19, you can upgrade basic mining to level 3 and that will allow you to make the level 3 pickaxe so if you go to my crafting menu as you can see no level 3 pickaxe yet only this is only level 3 tool and level 3 pickaxe will appear here and once i upgrade the skill so now guys we can finally upgrade these because we got enough cash arena so let's upgrade this bam and let's upgrade this too bam now if we go to our crafting menu as you can see assembled pickaxe we have it right here, so we're gonna be crafting that, and let's go, man. So let's keep doing the tasks. Now I can find the girl, either the crying girl, or we can find the pig, the Pinocco. These spawn, like, a little bit further. I think one spawns here, and one spawns somewhere here. One spawns probably here at the bridge, but they spawn as far away as possible from the helicopters because you have to bring the crying girl to a helicopter. Same goes with the pig, you have to bring the pig to a helicopter too. So let's see if the, it spawned here. Looks like it did not, did not spawn here. But we need to do forest flag too, but I'm not gonna be doing this right now. So we have to gather a little bit more flint for this task to complete, so let's do that. Finish it up, there we go, one more flint. We got it, we got it, there we go. And now we just need rain and two more resource points and just two more resource points right there and right there. We should be able to finish it pretty quick. Okay, it's daytime. All I need now is the rain, dude, so we can finish the mushroom task. So all we need, just a grilled mushroom, dude. And what is this? I see a zamberina. I see a lot of zamberina. You're dead, you're dead, you're dead. See ya. You guys didn't even wake up to defend your goddamn zombie house. All right, this task is done. We need one more, which is there. We have to kill probably a deer or something. And just, and all we need now is the rain. Just two more mushrooms, man. And we can't get the rain. It's probably gonna take forever in here to rain. Yeah, we have to kill a deer. And there's an NPC. That's probably Helena. Let's let's do that task. And the deer's dead. I'm gonna kill all of you, actually, dude. You guys dropped me bones. Why not? I'd rather kill all of you, dude. There we go. We collected everything. Task is done. Nice, nice, nice. Let's take a look at our skills. Soon I'm gonna reach level 19 combat. Okie dokie. Great stuff. There's three NPCs here. Damn, son. Uh, that's the photographer. Already did that. And Helena's supposed to spawn here. Okay, there we go. Look at those glowing markers, guys. Ah, uh, she's Helena. That's what we need to talk to her. Wow, we can't we can't do the task for some reason. We cannot do the task. I don't know why. Probably expired. I don't know. But anyways, let's try to get the NPC items now. Let's get her hemp. Hopefully we can get the biting nettle. And let's start chopping trees for the NPC items. Um, my blue bar is going down pretty quick, so let's eat this. Super luxurious drumstick. And look at my blue bar. There we go, that's what we need. Let's store some stuff in the doggy. We actually can't because we're full. But maybe something can be fit inside. There we go, we're good to go. Let's take the green meat out. I don't know what to put inside, but probably the vegetables. Let's feed the green meat to the dog. Like that. 
So now all we need is a NPC item. That's it. We're gonna get those by fishing, chopping trees, chop mining rocks, and gathering hemp. That's four items, man. That's a lot for forest. But I don't think I'm gonna get it, though. I literally have to try hard and chop trees now for these items. I literally have to try hard and just chop trees endlessly for this NPC item. And this fire axe is gonna break soon. Sometimes you don't even get the notification that you got the NPC item and then you just end up still chopping the trees while you already got the item. But now I know the amount I have. I have two logs, so if I get, if I have three, it means I already got the item for today. So I'll just keep chopping trees and paying attention to how many I have. I'm getting decent, um, oh, we got it, we got it. Yeah, I'm getting decent amount of gathering experience. I was level, 19 today and I was on zero so since we got that we now we don't need to do that anymore now since the rain started Let's get the two mushrooms that we needed and hopefully the mushrooms are somewhere here around Hopefully dude berries. Okay. Okay. Always appreciated. We need those we need those but now we just need two mushrooms That's all we need. This is our last task as you can see alrighty again berries come on game I need mushrooms there we go one mushroom one more and we're good to go one more mushroom I see you mushroom I see ya. there we go we're done all we need now is to go back to the house um, it's pretty far away but we can do it and on my way let's try to get hemp and also now since I completed all the tasks let's go fishing do this fish auto fishing and now we wait till we fish a hammer as you can see I have three hammers and once you give that hammer to NPC, it gives you 8k crafting experience. So now let's just wait. And here we go. The fish got away. God damn it. Come on, man. Fish, fish, fish. The hammer, please. Please, the hammer. And we have the hammer. There we go. There we go. If you take a look at this now, we have four hammers. Nice. So let's keep on grinding, guys. Let's keep on getting the uh, rocks and stuff. Because we need a rock now, and then we're, we're gonna need hemp. That's the last things we need. And after this pickaxe breaks down, I'm gonna craft myself a level 3 pickaxe. Hemp, I believe in you. Give me the NPC item right now. Or maybe I, I think you can't get it anymore after you get 3 NPC items. Total. I need 2 iron ores. Do I have iron ores? I think I do, yes. Of course I do. I'm actually gonna start crafting the level 3 pickaxe right now. And I'm gonna delete the other one. Because screw that. Because level 3 pickaxe is pretty damn OP. Assembled pickaxe, guys. Here we go. Equip that. Delete this. And delete this. Now we have more space. Let's go. And the better pickaxe it is, the more experience you get, obviously. Okay, rain's done. The buff should disappear. Five more seconds. So I can run again, finally, like a normal person. Can we get the NPC item, please? But sometimes it takes so long to get the NPC items, though. All we need now is two more NPC items. The black amber and the biting nettle. From gathering this we're not getting it yet at the current moment it's pain guys believe me because after like five minutes I still don't have it like it's taking so long after like a couple thousand rocks still don't have it I think I'm gonna delete some stuff I have useless crabs in my inventory like I've circled around the whole map dude and I still don't have it okay anyways we're close to the house we can finish the last task and then we can GTFO out of here so let's just add some wood like that like that and let's make grilled mushrooms required ingredients for mushrooms craft and now we wait at least man crafting food doesn't take two minutes here that's good all right let's take this and there we go done craft mastery 10k experience for this hey dude we have two Dude, we're missing gathering, like, bro, like, combat and gathering has to catch up till crafting level. Man, this is taking forever. My crafting is so high now. Oh, and let's upgrade this. HP increased by 100 when fighting critical chance increases by 10%. Let's upgrade the skill because it's required. Always upgrade this. Physical exercise. Always upgrade. Strength power. Always upgrade. Battle-wise. Like, always upgrade these skills right over here on the most left corner. Anyways, we're done with all the tasks. I'm just missing quest items. I'm gonna eat up my chicken again because we're so low on blue bar. I do that because we need the double experience from this because the blue bar basically grants you more experience when the blue bar is full. I still need the quest item, dude. My inventory is so full now. Not even sure am I getting those items or not. I still am though. Alright guys, I give up. Let's just kill the mini boss and get the hell out of here. We're level 15. We're even above level 15, so he's easy to kill. Let's kill him right now. He can't hit me because I'm behind a rock. And a little bit more. And you're dead. There we go. Let's get the experience he dropped. Let's get all the stuff he dropped. There we go. 2.4k combat experience. And now let's just leave this area. Alright, send everything home guys. Look at this. Look at this. I'm quite sure I want to send the blue infected stuff first. And I'm gonna keep those for now. I might need more iron ores later on. So let's send everything. Store the rest at the 
post men and we're good to go i could send the flint home too all right let's go back to our base all right guys do you know what time it is do you know what time it is it is blueprint time it is researching time we have 141 blueprint in our inventory which is two crafts out of 60 blueprints each so formula composition we go to fusion 3 that unlocks in level 20 crafting i am already 20 crafting guys <sighs> inhale exhale this is a tough one let's go wow i mean that's good but i'm not a fan of vmp9 you know i'm not a fan of vmp9 i could please i could please wish for 590m that's the only thing i would love please let's go please Oh my god, come on, dude. I don't need that stuff. Like, that stuff is garbage. Oh, well. I don't know, dude. I don't know, man. I mean, when I want to craft an EMP9, I will be able to craft a blue one. But now we have to grind more blueprints. We need 39 more blueprints. Ah, oh, crap. That is sucky, bro. That is very sucky. We're getting 20 blueprints. Hey, look at this. Okay, so quick claim. How many blueprints more we need? I need 19 more blueprints, guys. Yeah, we are not gonna do that. We cannot get that done. We did not get our 590M, but we got a Thompson. Insufficient combat level, and we can't even use it because we're not level 20 on combat yet, guys. Jesus Christ. But I mean, I'm gonna use up the Thompson. I could even um, repair the Thompson using my bed. So I use up my Thompson, and then I go back to sleep. And then I repair the Thompson, you know? Since Thompson cannot be... Since you get a Thompson from researching from here, and then you get a free example, you know? But I cannot equip it, so yeah, that sucks. I need to level up. My Uzi is 285 points, and Thompson does 47 damage, and Uzi does 45. If I put some modifications on this, it's gonna be better. So yeah, that's good, that's good. We'll definitely use the Thompson once I get to combat 20. And that's gonna be my UMP instead of the actual... Instead of crafting the actual UMP. So now let's put the blueprints back. We didn't get lucky on this one, guys. We did not get lucky on this one. But maybe next time we will. So what I need now is I need more cash, and I need to get more blueprints from this shop. As you can see, I can't because, well, I can't. I want to craft another Uzi and then sell it in the market. We have enough to make hexagon nails, actually. Let's do that. Let's go to make weapons, workable, and make this stuff. Let's make eight nails. I need bones. Let's grab the bones out. Back to crafting, make weapons. Hexagon nail, make one. And now we wait till it finishes. There we go. And there we go. So now, make weapons. What do we need for the Uzi? We need claws, right? I need iron castings again. So let's make four iron castings. There we go. And I am missing five claws. So I should have that in my mailbox, no? We actually, oh, we do have eight. Okay, that's good. So that should be done now. Let's claim that. And Uzi SMG, 17 minutes, guys. Confirm to produce Uzi. Let's cancel this. Just make sure it's tradable. All the resources are tradable. This is tradable. This is tradable. This is tradable. Awesome. With tradable resources, we're going to be making that Uzi sellable. So now we're crafting that Uzi. As you can see with a skin, and let's go. Our extractors are done. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna plant them in here, basically like this. Plant them right over here. Nice, nice, nice. Get it going, get it going. We're gonna buy some drills from the shop, and we're also gonna mine this out the way. Power chop, power mine, bang, 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 bang. Give me the potassium nitrate. We're gonna finish it up. Okay, it's still going. Let's use the drill engine oil on this. All right, all right, let's rust remove this, rust removal, let's go, man. And let's cool it down. The last thing we need, guys, is to get the drills working. I don't know where to put this one. For example, I really don't know. That's the biggest problem because I want to grow trees here. I actually already screwed it up. Wait, no, I think I should put it down here. This won't fit, though. This cannot fit. This is not good, guys, because free by free, I need those to grow my trees. As you can see, this is free by free, so I can put in one tree here, one tree here, one tree here, so that's three trees i would love to fit one here but i can't because this is scuffed i should have placed this one somewhere else i can't move this now because of the goddamn cow i really hate how i don't plan my drills i think the best is just to place the drill here i will be able to fit two trees with this spot let's place the drill here guys and now we just have to buy two alloy drills from the shop two buy that potassium nitrate here we go 
Let's click use. We're going to fertilize all of them with the engine oil. And this is going to give me a lot of potassium nitrate. And then we're going to make some plastic. And then hopefully we're going to sell it. Hopefully making some cash arena. You know what I'm saying, guys? That's how we roll. All right. All the drills are working now. That's great. We got three drills working. That's good. That's good. Some fuel too. Yep. Yep. All right. We're good to go. So now I just need some saplings here and I have none. We're going to be getting it soon. Soon, soon, soon. So yeah, I'm going to store the Thompson in a box because I cannot use it. I'm going to put it in the first box right over here. And I need to get two more modifications. All right, so we have, as you can see, this level star one modification. And I want to upgrade something. So let's do this. Let's go to a shop. We're going to spend 2,000 gold for a modification. I know that's so bad and that's so costly. But I'm s I, really, I really need it, dude. So let's just buy one. That's 2k gold down the drain, guys, but hey, we're going to compose this, compose one, compose another one, and this is going to be four star, or we could upgrade it two times. I mean, I'm going to upgrade them. Let's actually just, yeah, let's upgrade two of those. Let's click modify. Let's modify both of this one time and this one one time. Both of them are now four star. I mean, three star. They're three star, but to upgrade to four star, we need four star modification. Okay, so we're good. We're good. We got that upgraded. Our Uzi is kind of powerful now. It does 45 damage and it has a little bit of critical chance rising up with that. If you remove this one and this one, critical chance is now... Can't even see the critical chance anymore. What the hell? Okay, critical chance is 9.5 and with this one it's 12%. So critical chance is a really powerful thing, you know, on the Uzi and on any other weapon. It's must to have critical chances. Anyways, we got newbie guide right over here. This is done. <gasps> Wait a second. I can claim the blueprints here. And I can claim this one too. That's gonna be nine blueprints left. But am I gonna get nine blueprints somehow? Wait, let's actually see. Let's just keep doing this. So I need to kill one mercenary in the desert. And I need to kill 11 more zombies in the desert. And that's it. Let's go do that. Quickly, guys. Let's go finish that up. Oh, guys. I'm a dumbass. You know what? I'm a dummy. Okay? I forgot about the desert box. The desert box gives you blueprints in the desert. So here's what we're gonna do. While we're at the desert, in the middle here, you can find a yellow box that will give you either zero blueprints or either four blueprints. Or either two or one blueprint. You know what? Let's go there. Let's go try and grind it out. We're missing nine blueprints only. So hopefully we're gonna get those blueprint rewards from book or either from the box here. My Uzi is doing great. We can still repair it. We can still repair it with the bed, so... We're good. All right, so one soldier left here. That's all we need for the task. You're dead. Homie, we go. Is there any dudes around here? There is a lot of dudes here. Looks like we need to go through some different entrance, guys. Also, let's grab some hemp on our way. Feel like we're gonna need to. I only have eight bandages anyways. We're good. The best spot to enter this castle is through here. Right here. There's no soldiers here. It's, it was looted, yeah, no? Okay, this was not looted yet. That's good. But I have to heal up now. I'm gonna go only through one wave of those guys. We cannot go through like three of them. I'm gonna die instantly if I do. Let's get some ammo because we'll need a lot of ammo for these guys. There we go. As you can see, these guys are here. And then there's more guys in that side. But now they're gonna rotate. While they're rotating, we can go through here. Okay, while they're walking away, we can all start walking up. Now let's just kill all of these guys. As you can see, the yellow box is right over there. I'm getting a lot of damage, homie. And I cannot even hear their sounds anymore. There we go. All of them are dead. We blasted them, boys. We blasted them all. Loot. All right, this is the desert box I was talking about. The gold box. See you later, boy. See you later. I right, loot this. Hopefully we can get the blueprint. Hey, even the dog stepped on it. Hey, my man. You ain't letting me open it? Come on. We got four blueprints. Hell yes. Hell yes. Let's go, guys. We need five more. And we need to kill some zombies on our way too. So now, here's the thing, guys. Here's a little secret, if you didn't know. Here's a little, little secret. Click on this here. And as you can see, line full here. If it says line full here, you can do this. Any it'll line. Click switch. And this means, do you wish to randomly switch to relatively empty dimension? With fewer people in the dimension, there will be more resources that can be gathered. What this means is, you will be able to switch a server. And now that I looted that box, I will be able to loot it again. I forgot to loot the other boxes though, but screw that. I'm here for the yellow box. So as you can see, I switched the server and I can go back to the castle now. But let's go there back. I spawned really far away, or like really far away. But let's go there back. I'll show you guys again what will happen. Okay, so we'll, let's kill some zombies. Don't grab me, please. I need to kill 
all the zombies now for the book task. That's what it asked me to. Let's kill the, you know, easy zombies. I don't want to kill the fat zombies because they take so many shots to kill. And they're kind of hard to kill also. They're pretty bulky. Oh, someone's already looting it, dude. Hopefully that's not the zombies. I think that's... I, I hope that's the zombies. That's not the player getting shot. Yeah, that's for sure zombies. Okay, let's kill these guys. I think I just screwed up myself, dude. I screwed up a lot, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. I screwed up a lot. Let's heal up quick as possible, as quick as possible. Let's bandage up now. Please do not die, Dumeris. Please don't die. I think we're good. I literally forgot, guys, to heal up before fighting. Let's pop in another bandage and let's go loot the guys because they have so much loot there. Oh, hell nah. Hell nah, dude. We're stuck here forever. I'm out of here, man. I'm out. I'm out. Dude, why am I so unlucky on this? Like, this is karma, dude. I have to heal up again now. Wasted all my bandages for that. I think they're still coming. The loot is still on the ground. Okay, get out of here, dude. Go, dude. Go, 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 go. It's your stupid RPG in your hands. Oh my god. Go away, please. The loot is disappearing, though. Where is this guy going? Okay, there we go. They're all going inside. Was there the yellow box? I legit did not see the yellow box. We can loot all of them. This guy did not see me because he's resetting. Okay, the yellow box is right there. It's right over there. Let's loot all of these guys. I mean, it's free cash, right? I need to loot the hemp there on the ground too. Loot you too, brother. Give me the hemp. We're gonna craft some bandages out of those, if that's possible. There we go, one bandage. Should help a little bit. And let's just heal up. We need five more blueprints. I think we're gonna be getting that from the rewards. Okay, let's kill this guy. Dude, just don't aggro the RPG guy, please. Okay, he aggroed on me. Um, we should be able to kill him. He can't even hit his RPG on me. Because he dumb. He don't know how to use the RPG. He's actually exploding himself. Okay, we got ammo. We're good to go, guys. Let's go up. I thought he was stuck for a second. Oh, come on. Why do you have to come? So many of you have to come for me. There we go. This guy legit just left. There's three of those soldiers there. I don't want to shoot them, dude. I just want to go crawl in and just get out. Let's crawl here because these guys will hear me once I start shooting. I think they're gonna come for me now. Yep, they are, they are. Okay, that, these guys are not coming. That's great. I'm gonna kill all of these guys here. Oh, come on, dude. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, bruh. They're still there, as you can see. They're right over here, dude. I really want to get the box, dude. Oh my god, and we hit the sandstorm exactly when I'm looting the box. That's so bad. Like, that's the worst timing ever, dude. They will be able to shoot me. Can we loot this, like, without them seeing me? Okay, dude. Okay. Noted. Noted. We can't. So we either kill all of them, or we wait it out. Which is a really stupid way. I don't know, man. I'm gonna stay here and wait. That's so garbage, dude, how the sandstorm starts coming in exactly when I'm inside here. Oh, well. Let's just loot all the boxes. Are you seriously gonna shoot me like that? They're not gonna come to me because, you know, it's the sandstorm. They're, they don't move during sandstorm. They just camp like idiots. So yeah, we have to wait like two minutes now. Three minutes? I don't know how long the sandstorm lasts. I didn't calculate that. There we go. They're finally leaving, dude. The sandstorm is legit. Karma, dude. If I get that, I'm done. Okay, let's go. All the loot disappeared legit when I killed the soldiers, but now my most important reward is this yellow golden box. You better give me those blueprints, man. Come on, come on, come on. And we got three. Nice. And we got an alloy drill, too. I'll take it. I'll actually take it. So we cannot switch the server anymore. You can do it only once. Hey, wait, 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 wait. We can actually switch it again? Oh, well, uh, third time, you know, that's good. We can switch it for the third time. Let's switch it again, dude. And let's get the, you know, third box. Why not? I, I like doing that. Let's go to the castle again. I don't want to be so close to the wall because sometimes they just see you out of nowhere. And it's a bug. Hey, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare come that close, okay? But yeah, three of these guys have to be killed. There we go. They're leaving now. There we go. There we go. There we go. All of these guys are leaving too. I really hate this spot though. Wait, that guy just spawned. Like, what the hell? We lured him a bit. All we need to do is just lure him so the other guys don't come to you. Okay, they're going away. I don't think this is a good idea. This is gonna be a lot of damage. Actually, we're doing great. But just so you know, guys, they're really tough to kill. If you don't have the equipment. Yeah, man, this is what I'm talking about. See how many of them come? A lot of dudes. We actually survived. This is a really, really tricky spot. There's a yellow box, guys. Once again. Once freaking again. Let's loot this. Loot this, man. We got this guy's third yellow box. Are you guys ready? Am I gonna get the blueprints? I am for sure gonna. Come on. Yeah, we didn't get a blueprint this time. That is so bad. That is so bad. If you don't get a blueprint from this box, guys, you're so unlucky. Means that this box was unlucky for us. Alright, guys, this is my last chance to get the 590M today. If we don't, we're gonna have to grind so long for the next one. So, seven blueprints. And 
formula research. Wait, I need a little bit more blueprints. I can't even get it. Claim this. And look, I don't have enough. We have 12 blueprints, right? But I need two more blueprints. Two more blueprints, are you serious? That's just a joke. That's a big, big joke. So let's check the last guy, dude. Maybe that's gonna be all done. All we have to do is just complete Misco University and then we will be able to claim the blueprints. All right, so I finished Misco University. Now we can claim our rewards out of here basically guys we go return go to the third page stronghold there we go we completed all of this claim and now we got 10 blueprints let's go back to our base back to the base we have enough blueprints guys for this one finally keep your fingers crossed i know we're not getting it but i mean it's worth the try let's go and wow we got the mp9 uh, white skin i mean that's good but we're not getting the 590m well that's not cool. Not really hyped for the MP9 because I don't really like it. I don't really like it. But anyways, guys, that's it for this episode. This is probably a longer episode, isn't it? But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.